if you have to live in a tiny house and pay lot rent and you have to pay a monthly mortgage for it, how is it cheaper than living in a house? But if, when you start breaking down the numbers, it's literally just a fraction. And really you're trading square feet for price. Every square foot of home that you live in, you're responsible for it. Costs money to heat, costs money to cool, costs money to purchase, costs money to insure. Basically what you're doing is you're downsizing your belongings, you're downsizing your dwelling, and all of that adds up, or it actually takes away. If you look at the average rent in the United States right now, it's in September of 2023, it was about $1,500. So just to give you a quick comparison, if you were to just look at our lab model, it's $350 per month, you can finance it, and we are opening up a new uh, community that's only about $400 per month here in Eastern North Carolina. $750 versus $1,500, that's literally half the price. That's not even including taxes, less heating and cooling costs, insurance and all that. So if you are someone that is very, very price sensitive, or you need to downsize your financial footprint, living in a tiny house for sure is a good way to go.